Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. In a remarkable turn of events, a prominent South African pastor, who once held the hearts of a staggering 100,000 followers, has embarked on a profound spiritual journey. This revered figure, known for his charismatic sermons, captivating the masses with his eloquence, has now embraced Islam. His conversion has sent shockwaves through the religious landscape, sparking curiosity and inspiring deep reflection. So I've been a priest for 15 years now, leader of the congregation, the Corinthian Church of South Africa. That's got about 100,000 followers. Until I had a dream, I was sleeping. And I'm hearing this voice. I was sleeping in the church. It's a small room, a small Today, piece of room. we find ourselves in the holiest of cities, Mecca, where this former pastor, now a humble servant of Allah, stands among millions of pilgrims, fulfilling his lifelong dream, performing the Hajj. <laughs> Join us as we delve into the story of this extraordinary individual, unraveling the path that led him to this momentous occasion, and exploring the transformative power of faith. Witness the profound impact one man's journey can have on the hearts and minds of thousands, reminding us that, indeed, Allah guides whom he wills. Then I heard this voice. It says, tell your men to wear white kutras. Kutras. I said, oh, Muslim, Muslim head. Then I said, ah, it's just a dream. He came again and again. And the last time, this voice became aggressive now. Tell your men. Then I went. It was a congregation. I said, now I'm going to these people. I'm going to tell them. Let them believe. Then I went there. Then I told them. You know how, we, how Allah made it easy? They just accepted. All of them. Then when the next meeting came on the next congregation, everyone was wearing it white quarters and all those they accepted they accepted three months ago I made the shahada in the church and they were supporting what I was saying they were also saying it those thousand voices saying one giving the shahada with me we were happy then I saw Muslim brothers coming I said, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. I had a dream that you'll, you'll come here. When they told me you are going to Hajj, I said, oh, me? <laughs> I can't go there. I won't go there. And when the day came, they said, you are leaving. I said, leaving away. You must be joking. This is not happening. It can't happen. Peace be, be upon him, Mohammed. When we went up here, he was alone. I will follow the footsteps. And I believe by following these footsteps, millions of my people in South Africa will follow these footsteps to see the light. This is the mountain of light. I am the first one in my family to touch here. This soil, this blessed soil. The mountain of light. Of light. Yes. From this the mountain started the light of Islam. That's why I brought it here. Hey, I'm shaking. Shaking. Hey. I'm shaking. I want to go up there. What? Yeah. It's hard. No. Nothing is hard. When you have that heart, nothing is hard. In the name of Allah, nothing is hard. He make it easy for me. I'm happy for that. To feel the heart. I am so happy and lucky to be given that chance while I'm still here. Because there's no chance there.
Yeah. He is the light. He is our light. He is my light. He is the, he is the light of this world. Let his light shine all over the world. And he forgives us all our sins. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe now for a daily dose of real stories.